Hey, welcome back everybody. So we're working on this e-commerce app and right now there are tons of products. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna add search. So see, this is a little preview right here, but see we can type in, let's type in uh, jeans and let's hit go. And you'll notice all of these are jeans now, red jeans, small jeans, uh, khaki jeans, red shirts, or we can search for something else. Let's sh search for uh, shirts. So hit shirts, type out shirts there, hit go. And are there no shirts? Did I see? Are there no shirts? I thought there were shirts in here. Let's go back. Let's do, oh, maybe just shirt. Yeah, so the S, the plural at the end messed it up. Um, we can work on that in a future video, but for right now, just want to get the basics done. This is searching through products in Room. So the past few lessons we've been working through Room Database. Um, we got that all set up. This is actually still offline, I think. Yeah, Wi-Fi is off and mobile data is off. So in this video, yeah, we're just going to add a search. So search for shirt, their red shirt, yellow shirt, or we want, say we want to search for socks, we can search for socks, hit go, and instantly all we see is socks. So it's searching through all these products. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill this and just get rid of it, and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm thinking the first thing we'd wanna do is we'd wanna add a search box. So, oh, it's still open. But, um, so we have all our products here, but let's go ahead and put the search right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill that again. <laughs> Open up app. Uh, resources, layouts, and I think it's inside of Fragment. Fragment main, I think, is where it is. Let's see. Let's go to design mode. Let's close that. Yeah, I think that this is where it is. So these recycler views here, and if we go to text view, or we can actually see the recycler views here, but there's the categories recycler view, and, the pro and that's products. Then we have our loading icon. So what we're going to do is let's just go ahead and drag in uh, edit text so we'll do just we'll just do uh we'll just do plain text so i'm just going to drag it actually uh, you know what i'm going to do it the way i usually do it i'm going to come down here to text and it's not too difficult i hope but this may be a little bit complicated like if you want to drag in a plain text and do it that way you can do that or follow along with me so we have if we click here on this first recycler view you'll see it kind of highlights it over there on the right then we have this one, which is all of that area right there. And then we have our progress bar. So between that and that, um, like if I were to run it, let me run it so I can show you But what we're talking about. Because the first recycler view, that one right there is separate from the bottom one there. So the recycler view right there is this horizontally scrolling recycler view. So it's kind of short. That's what it is. And then this recycler view right here is for all the products right there. So hopefully that makes sense. So we want to come right after, we want to insert it in between the two. So I'm going to come down here and right after this recycler view, and by the way, this is all going to be in GitHub so you can see it. But between these two, I'm going to do um, edit text. We'll do wrap and wrap. And that appears, where does that appear? Nowhere, on the top left. Let's give it a hint. So the hint will be, hint is, we'll call that search term, just to make it clear. So we have that there. Now it's, we can kind of, it's kind of messed up right there, but we want to put it between that and that. So how can we do that? Let's first get some stuff down. Let's do left to left of parent. Let's do right to right of parent. And that should kind of center it. And then we still have a couple of things we need to do on this edit text. We need to set, see how it's like all squashed up in the middle there? What we can actually do is go into design mode, click on it, and then we have this little panel over here where we can, oops, what did I do? I'm gonna undo, what, undo, oh, I undid that. So, so we're gonna select, we're gonna select the edit text, and then click right there a couple of times until it expands to full width. And we could have just as easily, easily done that in, inside of here. It's basically setting wrap content there versus zero DP. So, so that's the, that's the basics there. But you also see that it's between, it's at the top of the screen. That's not what we want. Let's do this. Top to bottom of categories recycler view. That's saying, hey, make this edit text right here to the bottom of this categories recycler view. The categories recycler view is right there. So that's how it knows how to do that. But see, it's still messed up a little bit. We need to push this products recycler view down a little bit. 
So if you notice, it, this, the products recycler view here says the top should be to the bottom of the categories, which is up there. We want this recycler view to be the, to the bottom of the search. So let's give search an ID. So we'll do this ID, we'll call this a search term. Uh, then we'll change this products recycler view to be the top to the bottom of, to the bottom of search term. And that should get us exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and let's run it to make to make sure it looks okay in the emulator. So run it. Gradle is building, indexing, installing, and here we go. So yeah, there's our search term. So we can type out something there, but there's no search button, and it doesn't filter based on searches. So we need to fix that. Let's add a button really quickly. So let's go to the end of this edit text, and let's do button. We'll do wrap, wrap, and we'll give it text of, we'll give it text of, we'll say um, search. There we go. Search. Maybe this one can say, uh, whoops, messed that up. This one can say maybe um, type, type, uh, yeah, that'll work for now, just to, just to make it clear what it is. So we have a button there, and it's complaining about something. We need to do this. Let's do to write, write of parent. And I'm just typing R-I-R-I. -R -I. So if you, if you start typing write, and then write again, it will automatically select this for you. So you can do it that way. So say I wanted this to be top to top. I could do top, top, and then it suggests that for us. Just hit enter, and then boom, it fills out the rest for you. So that's kind of how I'm doing it so quickly. So we need the, the search box isn't quite right. Um, we can actually do that. Let's give it an ID first. So ID will be um, search. Actually, we'll do this. We'll do this also in design mode, just so you can follow along. So select the search box. Give it uh, no the button. I mean, give the button an ID of. We'll call this a search. And we want to put it right after this that right there. Let's 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 first focus on the top and bottom. So we'll do the bottom to the bottom of that. Uh, then the top to the top of that. And that should align it up brief. That should align it up really well. Now I'm going to go ahead and click that right there to delete. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's edit, undo. So now where does this go? Oh, so select the button. Okay, click and drag. And let's make it to the top of that. It's my phone. Okay, cool. So uh, let's just go back to text. That's what I'm better at. Um, let's do, uh, let's do on the search term, let's do uh, right to left of search button. And that makes it, makes it a, uh, so we have, yeah, so this is a little bit confusing and it probably will be, but we have the search term right there, which is that right there. And then we have our search button, which is right there. So we're basically, this is all constraint layout left to left of, right to left of, top to bottom of, bottom to top of, like all of that stuff right there is just constraint layout. And so it takes a little bit of playing around with it to figure out exactly what you want. But after a little bit of playing around with it for a little bit, hopefully you can get used to it. Or you can just go to design mode and try to do it this way. But 99% uh, of the time I use the text mode just because it gives me more control and I'm faster at it. But the design mode is also helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that and let's see what this looks like. So we're going to run it, and let's see, it opens up, and now we have our search term. It's not, the spacing doesn't look right, but let's type in uh, jeans, and right now it doesn't do anything, so that's what we're going to fix. And you know what, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, and I'm going to, sh I'm, we're going to continue in the next video. So hopefully you got the UI done, and we'll work on the actual room implementation of actually uh, searching the database for products. We'll do that in the next video.